गाइस आई एम विक्नेश एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल क्लाउड अन एनालिटिक्स होप एवरी वन आर डूइंग गुड सो इन टू डेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू रीड डेटा विच इज प्रेजेंट इन गूगल क्लाउड स्टोरेज इन साइड बिग क्वेरी सो वी विल बी इंप्लीमेंटिंग दिस इन टू डिफरेंट अप्रोचेस वन इज यूजिंग कमांड लाइन टूल दट इज बी क्यू कमांड लाइन टूल द नेक्स्ट वन इज बिग क्वेरी कंसोल सो दिस इज फुल्ली अ प्रैक्टिकल वीडियो एंड विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so i'll be going into my cloud console this is my cloud console and i'll be opening my bigquery so as you see this is my bigquery console from this uh, we will be uh, we will be reading data which is present in cloud storage for example uh, i'll open my cloud storage bucket as well so that it will be easy so um, we will be using two different approaches one is using command line tool the next one is using uh, Uh, console first we will be we will be seeing how to do it using command line tool that is bq command to config this project basically you have to uh, get this project id to get this project id you can go here and you can copy it from here and just type g cloud config set project and project id so this will yeah this will be done so um now go into this 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 there are from existing data sets like baby names nyc taxi and sql pack these are the uh, um, be, like existing uh, data sets available for this demo session i'll show you how to create uh, how to create data set and how to uh, call file like how to uh, move file from cloud shell to gcs bucket from gcs bucket to bigquery and uh, i will show you one more uh, one more example like how to re, uh, copy file which is present in bigquery you no know, uh, which is present in cloud storage directly to bigquery so first uh, we will be going through this command like bq if you don't know anything if you don't uh, uh, if you face some issue during executing this bq command right, like you can always uh, use bq iphone iphone help now we have to make data set for that bq mk iphone iphone l if you don't know what is that it means no you can use bq iphone iphone l and here you can find all the parameters related to this uh, related to this account uh, related to this command so if you can see uh, create a data set uh, table view or transfer configuration with this name so we can use bq may mk for new data set mk like we can give table as well directly we can make date table as well like you can go through this and you can learn lot about this like what is that mk for now i'll be using bq mk baby underscore names so the moment it got executed yeah you can just go into bigquery there is no baby names is there but we have created bq underscore names so we have i have just refreshed the console and um, i'll be opening my bigqueries here you can see baby underscore names if you just click on it you will see what is the data set info like what is the data set id when it got created what is the default table expression we have not modified it we have not added any parameter so by default it will take all the default parameters itself the data location it is basically in us so the next thing is uh, we will be seeing uh, like we will be using this bucket us artifact i am not sure whether we can use that bucket but still i'll try to upload few file from some many files here so if you see uh, 2000 level.txt i am uploading this file uh, once i have uploaded we will see yeah the file is here we will be just moving this file from uh, big from cloud storage to bigquery for doing that you can see that i have a list of commands i'll make i have already made it for for now we will be using this so you can use this command bq load iphone iphone source format is csv basically if i open that file right it will be a csv file comma separated file only so what is the file i have uploaded this 11 2011 so if i open this file it will be like basically comma separated file so just close it and we can use this command like this is one of the one way i am doing this so bq load csv and directly go here get this command and come here and paste like just re replace this url if you can see just copy this and paste it here and again copy this so here here if you get baby underscore names uh, if you see that Uh, data set doesn't have any tables on it like it doesn't have any tables 
if if you wanted to create table you can obviously go use the same command bqmk baby names dot name zero run like auto detect like schema all those things it will be auto detected but in our case we wanted to create it during the runtime so what i'm doing is i'm just creating giving the names alone which is not existing so and i have given the uh, schema as well like name gender count integer if i give auto detect like it will basically detect the schema at that runtime itself so just copy this command and go into a cloud shell and just click on this and then hit enter it is running and once it is in yeah it is done the current state is done just go here and refresh it. refresh your bigquery console once and you will be able to see <coughs> the table here baby names names 2001 you can click on this query and you can execute this query as well you will get all the related like what is that csv file all those things you can able to see it from here so if you can see name gender and count so count is integer gender is, is text name is also text file so this we have seen how to upload it using uh, um, using bq command now we will see how to do the same using console so i am i'll be using the same uh, data set baby underscore names so just create click on this create table and create table from google cloud storage you can directly create from google cloud storage and you can click on this browse and we will be using any other bucket this is also in us central one and we'll be using this uh, uh, m salary dot txt we'll be using this or we'll be using salary data.csv as well so just click on this format will be csv uh, format will be csv and data set and table name is salary underscore table so rest everything we'll keep it as same and schema is auto detect schema in bq command we have mentioned the schema from ui we'll be just creating that auto schema rest everything let it be same rest everything let it be same just create on this uh, click table job has been created so this will take some time yeah table is got created as you see table is got created and you can see like yes table is got created and you can exit query so the respective data which is present inside this table is already loaded here if you can see name gender if you don't know what is present inside the data, i'll show you so going into this dcfs source us central one salary.csv i'm just downloading it so that you can see what is the data present here so it is comma separated file and it is named gender salary the same what we have seen the same here there is one more approach also for that we will be opening a open editor for um, cloud editor we will be opening cloud editor that is uh, it's a it's a simple approach only i'll explain you that also once there, there are different ways to do it i'm showing you the most uh, uh, frequently used way for example if you see here now what i'm going to do is um, in cloud shell cloud shell i have one file text file or csv file text or csv file i'll be moving it into moving to gcs bucket from gcs bucket i'll be moving into cloud bq so cloud shell we have that file that file is not present in cloud storage we'll be moving that file basically we'll be copying that file or moving that file to uh, gcs bucket from gcs bucket whatever i have done to know we can do that as well this is one more approach we can we can do so i'll be closing this yeah i'll be closing this as well so yeah we, there are many files i'll be deleting that very f uh, frequently very shortly i'll be deleting it I have just zipped it so just click on this terminal and you will get into terminal so this is the file which I'm going to move here so just right click on this copy part now you can use gsutil copy and file name and respective bucket name as well so to get the bucket name you can go here now where is the bucket yeah you can go here you can just click on this bucket name just click on this bucket name then come here paste it yeah you will see wob yob 2020.txt there yeah this is completed 
you can copy or you can move like when you use move this file will be uh, there will be a no copy of it which is pres which, which will be present in cloud shell i'm just copying it when i'm moving it i'll be not able to see the, see the uh, copy of it um, when i'm copying it it will be copying like i can see the copy of the file present in gcs bucket as well as in cloud shell as well so here i'm just refreshing it and you can see it here so yob dot yeah? now copy this file you can copy the path this is the path uh, util url and you can go into my editor and you can use the same thing here bq load source and copy this same thing and copy it and paste it and I'll copy this as well and we have to use 2022 2020 copy it and take it to this link in cloud editor paste it you can enter and yes this is done and then you can go into your cloud shell like in under baby names we have name 2020 salary table the moment i refresh it you will be able to see names 2020 and you can auto detect sigma you can do lot of things on it um, this is very minimum whatever i'm doing i'm just showing you the different ways and different approaches so here you can you find names 2020 and you can just click on it very on top of this table and click enter and you'll be able to see the records and if you wanted to execute the records in uh, gcla command as well you can always do this um, where is this is be quick very wait a minute i'll take that as well yeah, in cloud databases in cloud bigquery we'll take this and i'll take this file Uh, if you wanted we can you if you wanted to query in the gcli command itself you can use this query so big coming and copy from this file to copy that you can go here go into this name 220 and under details you can get this table id copy this table id um, and paste it here and you can just copy this command and basically uh, you you have to use legacy sql equal to true that you have to use it uh, use legacy sql uh, false this we'll be using it here so legacy equal copy this and execute in in your terminal Now you can see the first top five top 10 records and if you wanted to see the other details like if you just list it no you will be able to see what are the tables present inside this uh, data set bqls baby names is our data set so you can see what are the tables present in and um, if you wanted to view any particular file you can go here and you can execute also uh, bq show baby names names dot 2020 so and just click on it and you will get all the details like what is the schema what are the to total rows total bytes expiration all the additional details on that so that's it for this today's video i hope you learned something new from this video basically like different approaches like this is not uh, there is one more approach using python libraries like basically client libraries as well i'll be showing that in next video uh, i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any questions, post that in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible. So please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'll meet you in the next video with the new, intent, uh, new content on Google Cloud platforms. Uh, the next video. And until then, it's bye from Mignesh. Happy learning. Take care.